A while ago, I added different cars to Drifto. What you're seeing here is three different cars, all with the same input, behaving differently based on the handling settings. However, I oversimplified these settings, reducing them to just three numbers, representing the handling, acceleration, and top speed. Now, I'm no mechanic, but I don't think these three numbers can accurately describe how a car behaves and feels. So, I set off to give the cars more identity and character. The plan was simple. Expand the car settings to include some characteristics crucial to the handling and drifto that were previously derived from the old three handling values. These new settings were to include motor torque, gear ratios, including the final gear ratio, sideways friction values, and the center of mass and total mass, as well as some other non-handling characteristics like the car view information, sound settings, and store information like cost and display values for handling, top speed, and acceleration. The system is set up with four main pieces. The car setting scriptable object contains the handling characteristics. It also contains a reference to the car view. The car view scriptable object contains information on how the car should be displayed. The car switcher component uses a car settings object and modifies the required values in the car controller. The car body component, when given a car view object, sets all the visual aspects defined in the car view. Implementing these changes was easy. The car settings scriptable object was expanded to contain the new fields, and the car switcher was updated to make use of these new fields rather than deriving them from the old handling values. Using the updated car settings, I can give the cars more distinct handling characteristics like making the 911 twitchy but long grip, or the GTR heavy with lots of grip. One quirk of the car handling in Drifto is the sideways friction of the tyres. Real tyres are almost always slipping. When you accelerate, the drive tyres actually spin ever so slightly faster than you'd expect. When you decelerate, they spin slightly slower. The friction a tyre has is in a direct relationship with the amount it's slipping. A real tyre's friction will rapidly increase with a small amount of slip and then start to taper off, losing friction with more slip. Drifto tyres work very differently. At very small slip values, sideways friction is constant, allowing the car to grip, but not so much that it cannot break loose. Once traction is broken, the friction coefficient is the slip angle clamped between 0 and 90 and turbulated between two constants set in the car settings. This results in the ability to use drifting in place as a brake without sacrificing higher speed drifts. Unfortunately, with this, high speed 360s are practically impossible. An equally important, yet unrealistic characteristic is how the steering works. In Drifto, when the player steers the car, they are directly applying a rotational velocity about the car's up axis. This style of steering is known more commonly as spaceship controls. While this does sacrifice some realism, it gives the player more direct control over how the car moves and makes it feel much more responsive and intuitive given the simple input scheme. 